everyone. It's Ree with Cute Nanny Things back in the craft room. Sorry for all the glares. I have all the lights on and this paper is very reflective. But what I got for you today is I wanted to show you guys how to make dividers or dashboards when you don't have a laminator or you don't have a Silhouette or Cricut machine and you just want some really cool dividers. So what you can do. Um, I picked this up. Um, this is called um, Bazil's Basic Paper. Um, it's this um, like plastic mylar paper. I got this from Joann's. It is their specialty paper. Let me show you the skew just in case you want it. So three, zero five one oh one or there's the long skew you can actually look that up on the joann's app let me open this up so i actually got this by accident as you can see you probably can't even see it but it's clear plastic and when you put a piece of paper over it you can kind of see that design there so it's like this oil slick looking design and it's plastic so I thought it'd be cool to make little dashboard dividers for your ring bound planners so I have my little pocket here and I want to put some um, some decorative like divider things and I thought oh you know this would be make a great video for somebody who doesn't have a laminator who doesn't have a cutting machine and we're even gonna go even more old school and not even use a paper trimmer we're going to use some scissors and hope that this is going to work but um this is what i'm working with here i have the pocket planner i forgot the measurements for it but we're gonna go ahead and cut this to fit and i picked up i've been collecting <laughs> This is a lot of stuff from the Planner Society. They have decorative things that come in their kit, but you can also find like on their $2 Tuesdays, you can buy these like scallops, glitter scallops. And I've collected them through like all different kinds of kits, but they had like a special where you could get like 10 of them. I think it was like $10 for like all these bows and scallops. So they came in different colors. So I was trying to think like, I kind of want to do this like, um, clear glitter and maybe some of this um, Ooh, this mint is cute. There's yellow. I want to do this like bubblegum pink and um, Light pink glitter. So I have a lot of these and I haven't been able to use them in a lot of my setups But then I was thinking of this too To do something really cute with this one Because I think this is like um like a lace scallop and there's this pink glitter one in here that I want to try out so we're gonna do that we're gonna come up we're gonna kind of do like four different kinds maybe see what we have time for so got some bubblegum pink I got this like clear I want to say it's iridescent it kind of looks yellow but in the light so let's go ahead and cut this up to fit and usually I would use my paper trimmer but I'm kind of going for for those of you that don't have a paper trimmer you got some regular scissors and it's really hard to see this paper this like plastic because of there's no paper behind it so I'm just using my insert as a guide and you could probably like go all the way up since it's the same size but because I'm only using this insert I'm just gonna do it one at a time. And like I said, if you have a paper trimmer, go ahead. I just can't find my 12 by 12 paper trimmer. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and work this out like is as if I don't, if this person that wants to make this does not. Now, you can hole punch these using a re one regular hole punch because of course this inserts an awesome guide because it has the holes there. Um, but you can also use your, um, like I have this Repesco um, hole puncher that can do different sizes. That one's awesome for pocket planners as well. And if you want your dividers to be a little bit longer, you could always, um, you know, cut it a little bit longer than your inserts to overhang. I think that would be um, 
good as well so that you could pick up the divider and switch it over versus it being the same exact size. But we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact size because we're gonna use the scallops as like the edge. So you can't even see this because it's so clear, but look how pretty that is. So behind, um, like on top of some paper, you're gonna be able to see that oil slick and it's like pinkish and blue. So for this one, I wanna use the skinny, I think because the pocket's so small, these little scallops are so cute. So we're gonna use the lighter pink one and we're gonna make a little scallop edge right here and so I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna use we're gonna do it on both sides that way you have a lift of something to um, be able to turn over in your planner and make sure that's straight so I'm gonna go ahead and run it down that way and you know what I think I always start at the bottom but I think I'm gonna start on the top. That way there's a full scallop at the top and not a half of one when I cut off. So as you can see there, I just laid it on the edge because we're gonna put one on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off. See, that way when it's in your planner, you have full scallop on the top and the cut off one at the bottom and not, you know, the other way around. Now I'm gonna pull another one I like this because the glitter has a little blue in it and this oil slick has a little blue in it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again on this side and then they're gonna just stick together and that's gonna be your little, kind of like your little tab that you can flip over to the next section in your planner. Sorry if my, my head is in the frame here kind of a new setup. So I'm gonna lay this down. And this plastic is um, pretty sturdy. So it's gonna live up to the wear and tear in your planner. So there you go. Such an easy way to make a little divider. And now we're just gonna punch it and put in our planner. Now you could round the corners if you want to. Um, I don't like to do that. Now, if you have this little um, planner punch in the inside, there are ways that you can, or you have to be able to adjust it to the pocket. And I always forget to adjust it. So make sure you always check that you're on the right size, because then you'll be ruining your project here. And then on the front, it says mini. I'm gonna line it up. I mean, not mini, but pocket. I'm gonna line it up there, give it a punch, and we have our first divider. Sorry for the shake. So what I'm gonna do is put it in my planner and see how it looks. I have these beautiful dashboards that a friend made for me. If you like these little glitter dashboards, check her out on Instagram. Um, I'll have the description down below. But there you go, you have a little divider or it could just be a decorative dash and you could put your own little white um, cardstock behind there. You can also put a picture. I think that would be really cool to have a picture behind this. So if you don't have a laminator to make your own dividers, you don't wanna buy them. This paper, I wanna say costs about maybe $1.99. And I mean, it's a 12 by 12. So in a pocket planner, that's going to make a lot of pocket or like a lot of dividers um, in a bigger size planner. Of course, mini happy planner, um, even those skinny minis. If you have a micros, this would be a great thing. Let me pull another one I have. I have a darker color. It's like a pink and let me go ahead and put something white behind that so you guys can see. So it's the same, but it's just a darker pink. So you can mix and match. Um, I'm not sure if there was any other colors. Um, honestly, I'm sure there are. You just gotta make sure on the tag itself, it says Mylar, but I think in the description on, um, 
on the actual website. It says it's like a plastic paper. Um, you can even buy clear ones and make them your own. So if you don't have a laminator, this is a really good way to have that decorative piece in your planner. And it looks really pretty in putting pictures or to highlight pictures or even a pretty die cut that you have. You could put it behind there or on top of there. So I have so many die cuts. So I'm going to make one more and we're going to try this lace piece out. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my template again. And this is honestly, I would tape it down or something because I'm just free handing this. I did a pretty good job on the first one so I'm just going to take this all the way up and save our scraps because you could even use this to insert into pockets for a more decorative piece and it's plastic so you can pretty much use this for almost anything if you had pockets like here in the back you could use it as a washi card holder, just trim it down a little and stick it in there. So that would be cool too. Let me go ahead and trim this. Put some of your favorite washi and that will fit right in the pocket. So you can always use these pieces. Don't waste anything. So I have, yep, it's good to go. Let's see. We have the big ones. We have the small ones. Ooh, they have like a... A scalp one so this one we're gonna do a little bit different we're gonna use this as a decorative piece but not because um, this is very thin sticker paper so I'm gonna use this as just a decorative line on the actual um, divider we're doing not necessarily having something that sticks out but we could do something else with that so I'm just gonna run the sticker down just to have something pretty on there. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I hope I'm in the frame. Look at that, that's really cute. All right, and of course, I'm not going to waste that. I'm gonna put it right back down. That way I can use it on something else. And then, let's see. Do we have, we have bubblegum pink bows. And like I said, you can get these at the Planner Society um, website. She sells them. And always check for um, her sales on Tuesdays because these could be $2 um, for a whole pack. And I think it's worth it because if you're like me and love to set up planners and different decorative things, these come in handy. So look how cute. We're just going to put a little bow tab. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with bows. Look at that. And now we're ready to punch. Look how fast that was. No lamination. Oh my gosh, this is like a new thing. And there you go. Now you have another section. That's so cute. Look how cute that is. And like I said, I would pair it up with some white card stock or something else, some glittery paper. Um, ooh, that would look nice behind there just to bring out that oil slick. Um, I'm like looking for stuff, like what do I have? Um, even just a white piece of paper, a plain white piece of paper would look good just so you won't see the lines. Um, that would look good. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some plain white paper that I have. I would say cardstock just cause it's more sturdy. But I mean, come on, you know, we're, you could be, um, just the sky's the limit with this thing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and punch this little white piece of paper. Oh, I can't even punch that all the way through. Hopefully that lines up. No, it's. Really? There we go. All right. Put that back there. Super cute. I love that. It came out really nice. I love this. I think I'm going to use that again with just a different one. And so 
my other sheets here. Okay, so I went ahead and cut two more dividers. And I want to use this darker um, bubblegum pink uh, scallops. But I thought that the other blue or the bigger scallops that I had were going to be way too big for such a smaller planner. So we're going to go ahead and use... Which one did I use? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we used the bluish one. This one's a little darker. So we'll use this one to make our other divider. And I did move around the uh, divider I made. I put the bow in front of the scallop. I thought that looked really cute. And this one I'm going to mix and match colors because I thought I had blue skinny scallops, but I guess I don't. So I need to purchase some because I kind of wanted to put some blue in this one. All right, maybe I can use this. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Let's see. I can trim off that part. But, oh, nope, we're not going to have enough. Let me pull another one. I thought I was going to have enough using that extra piece, but I didn't. I think this is a really good idea, especially if you want to make a setup kind of quick. And you don't want to have to laminate. That's going to be my bottom. Go ahead and give this a punch. All right. So now we have our back one. I haven't printed all my inserts for this. That's so cute. I love how it hangs out like that. And then I want to make one more divider. That's the only bad thing about these. They're so clear, I can barely find them. And then this is another extra piece that I cut off. I want to do another one with a blue. With the blue bow. Maybe the darker pink. Yeah, we'll do that. I haven't used these. I think this came, I don't remember what kit this came in. It's been a while. And like I said, I'm trying to use my stuff. So I've been hoarding a lot of the Planner Society sticker things. Like I don't want to use them. They're so pretty, but you got to use them. So I'm trying to think of different things I can use them for, especially in different planner setups. So this is the darker pink one. I'm going to go ahead and place this on the edge. And then I'm going to use the blue bow to mark this piece. Oh my gosh, why can't I cut this? Save my little piece. And then I'm gonna use one of these blue bows. Look how cute that is. Yay. I'm going to use the tiny one here. And I'm going to go ahead and punch it. That way I can figure out where the blue bow is going to lay because I want it to be lower than the other bow. Alright, so 
Here's my first one. And then I think I want to do my blue bow, I don't know, right below it. So probably there. And now that lines up and that's your tab. I didn't do that right. And there you go. Now I could put this one in between here. So four dividers I already got one with the pink bow, one with a scallop, one with a blue bow, and one with the darker pink scallop. And then I went ahead and put scallops on the back little um, pocket one. And then for this one, we're gonna do a little bow tab. And this could even be a good bookmarker um, for what place you are in. So you could either punch it, um, so you can even make bookmarkers for your, like, what day you're on for your insert. And that would be easy to mark it as well, like what page you're on. So if you wanted to make one that was a little bit skinnier and punch it, you could put, like, one of these little bow stickers or whatever sticker you have to make it stand out as a today. I'm trying to line this up one on top of each other because they're both sticky and you don't want stuff to get stuck on it. So I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. There you go. And then I was thinking of putting this one back here just to have a little bit more decorative. Look how cute that is. But like I said, you could easily have like a bookmarker like this that the bow sticks up. That way you know what page to turn on and you could punch holes in this. So that's another way to use these as um, if you don't have a laminate, laminator. There you go, there's your dividers without a lamination, without a laminator or lamination paper. Um, pretty simple and it highlights sections in your planner and you can spruce it up with pictures, die cuts, whatever you have. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.